So Charles is here in person, but he's sharing his screen for technical reasons. <laughs> Yeah. Um, thank you. Um, good morning, everyone. So my name is Charles Takarara. I'm with the African Astronomical Society, and I'm just going to be speaking about um, the organization and, and, and how we are going to be the voice of astronomy on the African continent. Um, also, let me thank the organizers for the opportunity to present here today. Um, so what is um, the African Astronomical Society? Well, we are we are a professional uh, society for astronomers on the African continent. And just like us, we are governed by a constitution. Um, and our goal is to create a, go a globally competitive and collaborative astronomy community on the African continent to be the voice of astronomy in Africa and to address the challenges faced by Africa using astronomy. So we are registered as a non-profit non organization, non-profit company in South Africa. And we are, we are hosted in South Africa by the Department of Science and Innovation. Uh, and based here at the South African Astronomical Observatory. So thank you, Takalani and Petri. So I will thank you for the money and thank you for keeping us all. So why 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 is this? So astronomy is growing on the African continent. There is various human capacity and development efforts on the continent. We are we are, we are we are building infrastructure. In fact, we are building the world's largest radio telescope, and we've got this very beautiful big telescope in Sutherland, which is the South African, uh, the, 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 the Southern African Large Telescope Salt. Um, and these, this plan for this ADN project across the African continent. Um, in 2024, we'll be hosting uh, the IAU General Assembly uh, for the first time on the African continent. In fact, it was put forward as a bid for Africa to host this big meeting. And, and then this is actually something for the continent to be excited about, and also for everyone in the astronomy community, both both for the amateur astronomy community and for the professional community. Um, there is this vision 2024, um, which is uh, where we want astronomy to be in 2024 when the world descends on African shores. And this is something that as, as a community, we, we should come together to, to, to ensure that we, we achieve. And this vision document looks at things like the people, which is looking at, at the human capacity, the, 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 the development and outreach, infrastructure, uh, the science opportunities, experience uh, of, 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 the, of the community, the, the organization, the funding and legacy of the event. So yes, we are working towards 2024, but we want to have a lasting legacy beyond that. Right? We want a start, we want to be able to look back and say after 2024 happened, what actually can we say in the future to say 2024 happened, but we've also developed something much bigger than what the GA actually was. So on the 21st of October, we'll actually be having um, this forum on astronomy in Africa, and you're welcome to join us. We will be actually looking at where we are towards this vision 2024 and where, and where we should actually be focusing. I mean, we are just uh, almost less than two years away from the, from, 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 from the GA, and that, 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 that's a very short time. So we need to be looking forward to, to what we actually want to achieve by that. So the history of APHIS. Uh, so there was a call for an astronomical society from back in 2019. And um, in 2011, APHIS was, was launched, but there was no support of, of a financial backing from, from in fact anywhere. And therefore, the society didn't really take off and go or, or anywhere until 2017, uh, where there was this 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 uh, Middle East regional meeting and and and, and plan to revive the, the society started and there were, there were even further talks at the European Astronomical Society meeting which was in Liverpool in 2017. Uh, then thereafter in 2019 uh, there was a meeting that was organized was the first astronomy in Africa meeting um, and this is where we adopted the new constitution for APIS and the DSI offered to host and and and, and start the, the secretariat which is why I'm here today so DSI actually made that possible and the delegates of the meeting accepted that offer from the DSI and elected an executive committee. So these are just the people that attended um, the, that meeting in, in 2019. Um, so it was a it from professional astronomers, students, and any other stakeholders, including amateur astronomers, attended um, that meeting. Also, at that meeting, there were sort of expectations. What do people want the African Astronomical Society to be? They wanted it to be an organization that uh, promotes inclusivity that looks at the capacity building 
uh, looks at networking and collaborations have a social economic impact because we are you know continent where there are a lot of, 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 of challenges and so we can actually contribute to those. Um, look at public outreach and organizing meetings such as our, 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 our annual conference that we have with today. So where is AFIS today? We've had two conferences. We've had our inaugural conference just in March 2021. And of course, because of COVID-19, that meeting was uh, was 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 virtual. And there was there were there were there, there was about over 250 uh, participants for that meeting. Um, this year we had our our second annual conference, which was a hybrid meeting, and we had 350 participants, and we are now looking at at, at the next meeting that we are we organizing now for next year. We now just reviewed our our last batch of memberships and we should be reaching our or just over 300 members in the full association student membership categories. And at the conference this year, a new executive committee was elected as the three-year term of the committee elected in 2019 and come to an end. So these these are the executive committee members. So the 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 elected members from the president to our officers, Tabile Kolo, and our immediate past president is still on our way. He's still serving on our executive committee, and then we've got myself, Dakalani, uh, Kevin, and, and Eunice, who are also assisting the, 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 the executive committee. Dakalani is there as a representative of, of, the, of the DSI as, as, as our primary funder, and Kevin, of course, the OED was very instrumental in the in the reviving of of eight percent and putting it where it is today, and we collaborate with OED on, on on many of our of our projects. So, well, what does what does AFIS look like today? So, AFIS is made up of various subcommittees that focus on science, knowledge, education. There is an African network for women in astronomy, but membership committee, the fundraising committee, and communications committee, and we've also got partner projects which include the African Radio Association, the African. European uh, radio astronomy platform, uh, and then we also have the African Science Science publication here today. So our objectives also look at addressing the, the, the sustainable development goals. We we will look at strength, strengthening the teaching of 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 science in school using astronomy to attract uh, more 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 young people into into science careers, encouraging the use of astronomy for socio economic development, and inspiring and retaining the underrepresented groups. In the field of astronomy, so we are we of course have very various agreements with with with, with different organisations, and the OED is one of them. We've signed an 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 an, 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 an MOA, which 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 is made for is to bring together complementary resources, just so that we could we, we, we could actually reach more people and 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 and, 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 and move further in the work that we do. So one of our our, our, our activities is organizing collaborative sessions, which are very important. We work with the we work just last year with OED to, to on, on, on a session at, at Science Forum South Africa, which looked at um, advancing Africa's uh, astronomy agenda. This year we are we are we, we, we are now organizing another session at World Science Forum, which has been um, accepted. Um, that's the, that's 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 that, that's the, that, that, that's also going to be looking around the same theme and how we can work together as South Africa and 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 that has left the continent in collaboration with, 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 with other countries outside of Africa. And then we also work with the with the European Astronomical Society as well in, during the, the 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 Africa EU summit this year. And we came up with these several resolutions in areas that we like to work together and areas that we like to 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 develop to benefit both of our communities. Another collaborative session, of course, is this meeting that is this is the session that we organize every two years during the European Astronomical uh, Society meeting, um, which this year was looking at large initiatives and research collaborations, infrastructure development, uh, site testing, and, and also some education outreach and uh, public awareness activity. So if a science is guided by the science strategy, which was developed in 2019, which was a meeting that we hosted that every end in, 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 in Ethiopia, and then you can find more information about the strategy on our website, what, the objective, the vision, and, and, and the objectives are. Um, AFA Science has got various activities. This includes the annual conference uh, that, that, that we have. Um, there's the Astronomy in Africa survey that, that we're currently conducting to see what, 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 what the astronomy landscape in, in, in on, 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 on the African continent looks like. We're also working on the data, on the AFA's data portal, which, which I shall show you something 
I'll just show you some 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 of the screenshots that I just took, mm -hmm. just just for, for for this talk to see so that you can see all about we are on the project. And there's of course the seed research grant uh, that we have. Those are our inaugural uh, laureates of the seed research grant. This year we also launched our MSc and 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 PhD prizes. We were also announcing the 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 the, the, the laureates for that um, prize for for, the, for 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 that prize in the coming week. This year these were our seed research grant uh, laureates. Uh, was one from Uganda, from Sudan, and one from South Africa. Um, and some of our other science uh, flagship projects. This includes the this includes developing high performance computing uh, for astronomy on the African project. We are trying to work with the with the CHPC on this. Um, um, then there's the network of, of optical telescopes, which Petri and 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 and, and, and Takalani both touched on. And then they, they then this also looking at at establishing this these these astronomy hubs and, and partnering with the with the OED and NG twenty twenty four and also right so I did, I did say that I was just going to show you some snippets from 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 the portal that we are we, we are developing so this year is 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 just part of the portal which just captures all the publications that were published by African astronomers so we also added a segment where it also looks at space science, as we know, astronomy and space science um, applications by African astronomers. And you can just also look at the range of dates that you want to look at as well. Probably. And you can just search based on the title or the name of the authors or the journals that they were published in. Um, also on the portal, it also looks at our membership as well. So you can you, you can also look at what the groups <laughs> are, what the demographics are, also have, a, have, have, have have an event is going to be looking at what the astronomical institution, institutions are on the continent, what opportunities are available in terms of scholarships and 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 and, and, and any job opportunities or, or, or postdoctoral positions. Also get information on the various observatories that are on the continent and the projects that have been funded by either APIS or any of the of, 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 of the other as, 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 as astronomy bodies on the continent. Right, so the integration observation system, I think uh, Petri did, did, did touch on this, and this is just an expansion of the of the of the SO intelligent observatory concept, but this will be networking telescopes that are uh, uh, that, that are spread out across the, the African continent. Um, in outreach and education, um, um, our, our outreach committee of, of, of course looks after our, our, our education development and, and, and an outreach program. Uh, we support MH astronomy associations, and in this map that we uh, developed over the, the 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 last few years, which looks at the spread of, of astronomical um, associations and, and 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 various activities that are on the African continent. I know that that that, that even some of the SI activities are on this map. And if you, if your activity is not there, you can go on our website and just 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 have a look at it. And if your association or anything is not on there, you can just uh, let us know, and then we will. We, we, we will be happy to, 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 to add it on this. Um, there are also various pan, pan African kind of campaigns, and, and for this campaign, it's what we saw this week, we've got an, 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 an eclipse or any significant um, astronomy activity. So we produce material and also translate that material into different African languages as well, just so that we, 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 we can even reach um, communities that were, you know, before not, 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 not even. Uh, reachable and yeah, so there are other hands-on activities that we do as well, and uh, of course our education outreach again. There's the planet, there's the photo planetary model that we've we've, we've, we've always been, been been working to to develop it and work and further on and proposed under the J twenty twenty four project. Is this uh, is this ambitious project to have uh, this scale solar system model uh, sort of. Uh, uh, I, I, I idea for, for, for the African content just so that each and every country can feel part of the GA 2024 um, that, that will mainly be in South Africa. And some of these areas will also be areas where we have some sort of hubs that people can also you know, be, be part of, of the GA 2024 and one way or another. Um, and yeah, this is just some of the of, of, of the webinars that we posted during the, the time of COVID and, and, and then some recently recently we did have the webinar in collaboration with the DSI where we where we spoke about the the the, the, the black hole uh, image, and also just before the launch of the James Webb Telescope, 
We also had a, a webinar that was looking at why everyone should be excited about this mission, even being in Africa. So there's the African Network of Women in Astronomy, um, which I didn't mention briefly, and this works to connect women uh, that are working in astronomy and related fields on the African continent, just look at strengthening um, 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 the and, 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 and by promoting their, their, their participation in the field and looking at ways that we can retain them and, and ensure that they are they are they, they are well and fully supported. Um, and this, these are just some of the activities of the African Network of Women in Astronomy. Of course, this year they've had the award of the 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 one daily career award. They were awarded. There was one for a senior astronomer that went to. So the senior astronomer was was, was given to Renee Khan Kotenak and and the uh, and daily career to Mario Kosava. And there's also some CV writing workshops as well that we conduct. So then there's the African Science Star Publication. Um, Ms. and 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 Nina here yeah, in the back with us today. And so they produce a, a, a regular uh, astronomy publication for Africa, and these are just some of the issues that 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 that, 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 that they've taken out since the inception. Um, if it wasn't, it was just uh, during COVID nineteen when they had their first uh, edition. Right. So you of course welcome to send in your contributions to the African Science Science publication. That this can 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 can, can, can reach the lower African continent. So. If you want to find out more how you can be a contributor, you can speak to me and and and, and we stand up uh, today. And they are, their details are also also available on this poster. We need to I'll share this slide. There is the African Planetarium Association, and this is this is just about the, the planetaria network on the on, on, on the continent. These are just some of our COVID nineteen efforts that we that we had as our project that we supported um, that we're using astronomy to address challenges. Uh, Due to the COVID 19 pandemic. Um, yeah, and then we also try to reach countries that have got nice for me as activities. So, this is just the, 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 the visit to the same countries that the president did. We had 18 activities uh, in Chad and 10 activities in, in, in Asia, visiting schools and uh, doing various, various outreach activities. And these are just some of the pictures from those activities that our, our past president had. And of course, our membership categories, we've got the full membership associate, membership, student membership, honorary, institutional membership. And we are just, of course, the client did mention, we are looking at ways that we can try to, to ensure to, 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 to grab a, a, a membership model, but also while also looking at the challenges that that, that, that Africa as a continent faces in terms of affordability, what would be affordable for the African community. So yeah, that's just one of the things there. That, of course, you can you can apply for membership as a good associate or student membership for now, so that's all open. Our annual conference next year is taking place from the 13th to the 17th of March. This might happen at in, in Johannesburg and Burns University, but we will we'll, we'll just um, un, un, announce uh, that those those details in, in later in the month. So we've also collaborating, also been collaborating with OED in terms of distributing the, the, these Galileo scopes. So if you are interested in getting Galileo scopes for outreach activities. You can just uh, reach out to us and 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 we are going to help you with that. There is the uh, astronomy in Africa brochure. So this is a living brochure that we keep trying to build up all the time. So this basically captures all the astronomy activities on the African continent. And our and, and our first version, we 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 had ready in time for the GA twenty twenty two, which was in Busan and this year. This is just a picture of some of the African community that was in Busan. Um, and yet this year, of course, recently we've been working on a policy framework to supporting schools, or astronomy schools on the African budget, but they are very important towards capacity building. Right, the, this is the last slide. This is a very exciting project, I think. Um, so earlier this week, we, we, we did actually have a first uh, a first hackathon under this project, so this is a project called Hack for Them. It's a partnership between IDEA, IEFU, Dara Big Data, the OED, uh, the Briggs Intelligent uh, Telescope and Data Network and the African Astronomical Society. So we are trying to, in South Africa, we're trying to use hackathons for, for development. And this way we, we develop some, 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 some activities based on, 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 on some scenario and skills that, 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 that you can use from, 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 from astronomy that, that, that you can address uh, everyday challenges that are faced by, by people. And thank you. And we would like to work with with with, with anyone from SA or SA as an organization itself. And yeah. Thanks, Charles. Um, are there any questions in the room here? Yeah? 
just a quick one I wanted to just ask was the um the distribution of the African science stars. What is it at the moment that we are distributing? So it's distributed firstly through the embassy in in in, in, in South Africa. And what we've got, we've got a we've got a database of contact points on, on the African continent. So this is through our our, our science network and our outreach network. So we actually send communities to those contact points and they can distribute them in, in, in the country as well. How many are you? I am not sure. I think they deem would you have that, that number or but yeah, yeah it's, it's, okay. it's not it's not and also again there's a there's a, there's an online version right? yeah. there's an online version that, that anyone can 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 so anyone else all right um 